Sega. Sonic Team. keep thinking back to that one dream I had. In this dream, I had a best friend. Someone that I spent my whole life together with. Why do I keep having this dream? It's the only one that I keep having over and over. I remember being happy. Yeah, that's right. Happy. My friend and I defeated all sorts of monsters and saved the world. Back then, that's all I thought mattered. All I ever wanted. Boy, was I ever wrong. Was it a dream I was having? Or was I the one inside someone else's dream? 
All I knew is that I was happy. But then, my friend said goodbye, and I wasn't happy anymore. Why did he choose me? Where did I come from? What is a dream traveler? What's even real anymore? Where do I go from here? Every night, I felt fail. These thoughts keep appearing in my head. If I dream, can I see him again? If I dream, can I be happy again? If I dream, will I finally understand who I am? But then... I woke up. You guys. Ouch! Hey! What the hell? I didn't do anything! S stop! Where even am I? Where are you taking me? Hey! Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, you're the stranger who dares to dream in my empire? St stranger what's even going on? Where am I? Whoa, what happened to my voice? I sound different. Silence! Playing ignorant will not work here, well... This is His Majesty's Empire, the Empire of Julius, where it is a known fact that dreams are forbidden. Not only have you broken this sacred rule, but you've been doing so for over a year. Oh! Did you just say a year? That's impossible! I was in fan- Right. That's mild. Did I really sleep for an entire year? Do you see this nonsense, your highness? Not only is the boy guilty, but delusional as well. Phantom Isle is a land only spoken of in fairy tales. So, even you say it was real. Curious. You've been living here undocumented for this long and you didn't even know? Where even are your parents? I... don't have any. Oh? I see. If you live alone, then that is even less of an excuse to do nothing but dream! Dreams won't put food on the table. Or pay rent, boy. If you have so much time, little to do, then you should go live your life. Instead of wasting away in an abandoned house. Play outside, find a job, and fall in love. That is the way of life. Dreams do nothing but give one unrealistic goals. Fiction can be cruel, once one mistakes it for reality. Well, excuse me for dreaming. You can't just stop people from dreaming. <gasps> you dare speak against his highness? Ha! Huh. What cheek? You dare to defy me? Insolent boy, you know nothing! Why is it so wrong to dream, huh? Who gave you the right to- The Emperor suffers insomnia. That is why dreaming is forbidden. And that gives him the right to be selfish? Hold your tongue, brat. Or else... Or else what? I'm not afraid of you. I'll have you know that the punishment for dreaming, as well as treason against the Emperor, is death. Bagoo, stand down. That's enough. But, sire... I will not! 
must repeat myself. <sighs> As you wish, my lord. Perhaps I was too harsh. I apologize for my rudeness. A stranger you may be, you are still a guest of my empire. So, boy, what is your name? Klonoa. Very well then. I decide that I, Emperor Julius Von Edmund the Fourteenth, will pardon Klonoa of all your crimes with a warning. Seeing as how you are a mere boy, barely even a man by the sound of your voice. However, you cannot continue to live here without paid dues. I expect you to work. Understood? Work? Like a job? Precisely. Curiously, what is that strange weapon you have there? Why? It looks like the ancient wind ring of legends! The ring? Wait, I still have it? But without Hupo. Hupo. <coughs> As I was saying, I don't know how that came into your possession, nor do I really care, but this does work in your favor. What are you planning to do, sire? Bagu, I've discovered a way that Kanoa here can pay his debts to this empire. It will indeed test his mettle. <laughs> You're a very lucky boy. You'll get to continue to live in this empire of free men, so long as you follow these instructions. There are five monsters terrorizing the neighboring kingdoms. You are to slay them all. Do so, and your debts will be considered paid. Take as much time as you wish. We don't expect you to have it done in a matter of days. Be careful, though. If you try to leave these lands, or even dare to dream while you sleep, I'll know. And if you do, well, let's just say you'll be wishing death was an option. <laughs> Everything settled. Do you have to go back home? <laughs> I mean, it's fine if you do. We can only see each other again, right? Hey, how about we go hang out in that forest you like a lot? Vanilla. Hmm? I promised you I explained everything to you when the world was saved. So. So as much as it hurts, I need to tell you. Hubo, why are you sad? Do you remember the whole Dream Traveler stuff? Well, you see, it's because... It's because you don't actually exist in this world. Excuse me? We needed to restore the balance of dreams. So I brought you here from the outside world to help us do that. What? What are you talking about? I hate lying to you. I hate it so much. But we were always in Nightopia, not the world you come from. But that's impossible. So what? Am I just dreaming everything? I mean, I remember my whole life here. I remember the day we met. We've been friends for years, you bow. Right? Dream travelers are born in class, and then sent to a special facility where they grow up with implanted memories. None of those fears actually happened, no? <laughs> this is actually the first time we met. <laughs> Liar! Stop lying to me! It's not true! How could you even say all of these things to me? I was elected to be your guide. But it wasn't just a mission for me, Quinoa. 
That's what the Dream Traveler program Thaddeus mentioned is. Artificial people that can travel to dreams and can't be consumed by nightmares. Her memories of me might be fake, but her friendship is real to me. You really are my best friend. But then, if I'm not real, then what about Grandpa? Everyone we met, are they fake too? No. We exist in this world, but not in reality. Grandpa, and Shiro, was it actually your grandfather? Enough! Even if this was all true, what proof do you have? I'm here, living and breathing in front of you. You can't just sit there and tell me I don't exist. Oh no, please. It's too much to redo. But if I didn't tell you the truth, how could I live with myself? Even the wind ring is something you found one day. You were born with it. It was just a memory I created for you. Stop it. Stop telling me these things. I don't want to hear anymore. Please, Hubo, tell me you're lying. Tell me. <laughs> you, you can't be. No. No, 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 no! When the feast sings your song of rebirth, your role as a dream traveler is complete. And you'll disappear from this world. No way! No, uh I'm not going anywhere! And nobody's gonna make me go! Klonoa, you don't understand! You don't know how much I wish I could change things! Damn it. How did it even come to this? So, is this the real world? <laughs> what even is real anyways? I can't believe it's been so long. It still only feels like it just happened. Boy, do I really hope I'm not going to get into a habit of waking up in different worlds or something. <laughs> I should get going. But, where do I even begin with? Ah, I'm in way over my head. The ring's useless without a ring spirit. If those even exist. You both lied to me. Maybe this thing is just a piece of junk after all. No, I can't throw this away. 
It's all I have left of my memories of Phantom Isle. I don't care if those memories are fake. They're still my memories, damn it. Hubo, even if you lied to me, you were still my best friend. My only friend. I can really use your help right about now. You right? W what That voice! It, it can't be! You're already in trouble? Ah, I swear, you're hopeless, Quinoa. What? Is it something I said? <laughs> Hubo! Oh, I can't believe it! It's really you! You're hugging me too tight! Oh, <sighs> oh sorry. No, it's okay. I just didn't expect that reaction. Honestly, I thought you hated me after... Well, I lied to you. Well, I'd be lying if I said I understood what you did. Or even who I am. But I'm just... So happy to see you again. Quinoa, even after what happened, you still want me as your friend? Of course I do. Fake memories or not, you're my best friend. That will never change. Quinoa, thank you. But hey, how did you even get here? This is the real world, right? Yep, it's real this time. So then, how? Eh, uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, let's just say I got, a uh, special permission to visit you. It's why I'm stuck like this. While in reality, I can't maintain my Notopian form, so this will have to do. I see. Well, to tell you the truth, you came at just the right time. I really need your help. Oh, really? What's up? Well, first, I gotta head over to the Desert Kingdom. Alright then, let's go! You can fill me in on the details on our way there. I really missed you, Clonella. Me too. But now we have another adventure ahead of us! <laughs> right! Let's go! It's still all surreal to me. But as soon as Hubo came back, it's like nothing's changed. There's still so much I don't know. Like, where is this place? Why are dreams forbidden? And who even am I? All I know is, with Hubo by my side again, I feel a lot more confident. Even I can't exactly trust him again yet. One thing still hasn't changed. My best friend is back. And I'm happy once again. An entire year? My god, I'm really sorry. I had no idea what was going to happen to you after the song Rebirth was cast. The strangest thing is too, I was in our house when I woke up. It only really felt like a day to me. Now that you mention it, did your voice get deeper? You look a little taller too. Yeah, I noticed that back at the palace. I guess time really has passed if I'm getting older. What is it? Well, it's just that when the Song of Rebirth is performed, a person at random from every world and reality is erased. Their existences are sent to a pocket dimension where time doesn't move forward. It was agreed that when reviving Phantom Isle, you were the one who would be erased from that world. Yet, you still have all your memories, and you ended up here. It could be because you're a dream traveler. Uh, sorry, I don't know myself. This is all new to me. Aren't you the prince, though? Mom has a bunch of children, 
Being the progenitor of Natopia, sure, I have some authority, but even I'm kept in the dark about a lot of things. So then, what exactly is a dream traveler? I'm not really sure. Are you lying again? No, I I'm serious. The program was made before I was born. I really don't know anything about it. I do know, however, where you were born. Seriously? And where would that be? It's, uh, well, it's a long way from here. Considering you're being watched, I don't think it's safe to travel there for now. The first chance we get, we'll go straight there, okay? Hmm. All right. I can't exactly trust you after what happened, Hupo, but I'll take your word for now. Thanks, Clonella. Um, perhaps we should ask around before we get lost. We've been walking for quite a while. Yeah, good idea. Wait, um, excuse me, sir, but... <laughs> Huh, y'all must be outsiders, huh? Everyone knows that might make right here in Gazaland. We only take kindly to strong folk. If y'all can't take a punch, then y'all ain't getting no respect. What kind of backwards ass rule is that? I'm just a kid. Barely. Judging by the voice cracks of yours, you're on your way to becoming a man. And as a man, y'all need to get tough. Simple as that. Well then, Mr. Man, if you love fighting so much, then you should know everything about the monster here, right? Word travels fast, huh? Yeah, the varmint's been causing nothing but trouble since he took the championship belt. Championship belt? Is there some kind of tournament going on? <laughs> ah! Hey! Well, I'll be damned. You don't know, little runt. I think I'm going to puke. They ain't from here, you see. Oh, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> Bye, you little... Every two weeks, the whole kingdom gathers round the Colosseum and fights like there's no tomorrow. Thing is, though, once that monster showed up, no one's been stupid enough to go fight that thing. The critter's too damn strong. So, what you're saying is... Whoever defeats the monster becomes the new champion? Them the rules. Yep. <laughs> well, we'll see who's punching at random when I take that title belt. Hupo, let's go. Well, wait a second. Why are you fired up all of a sudden? If these guys can beat it, then we need to be careful. The little talking bubble there is right. Your kids can't fight that thing. Don't be stupid. We don't really have a say, honestly. Orders from Emperor Julius. Good lord! The Emperor sends a kid and his head to fight a monster? Excuse me? What did you just call me? Look, do yourself a favor and go run off somewhere else. I can't in honest faith watch two kids walk off and get hurt. Says the guy who literally punched one? <sighs> Whatever. Just tell me where the Colosseum is, please. Well, if y'all are really hell-set in fighting, the Coliseum is at the top of that there mountain. Y'all just go past Pyramid Canyon, then it's just a short climb up Nile Rock Ridge. Oof. That looks pretty far. You better get going, Clonella. Right. Championship belt, here I come. Well, they're dead. Let's go!
let's go. Seeing water in the desert is a good thing, but, um, I don't think I can keep going after all. Huh? Oh, that's right! You can't swim, if I remember correctly. <sighs> yeah. Oh, man. How are we gonna get around that? I mean, maybe I can just jump really high or use some kind of rope? <laughs> Crap. It's a good thing I brought this with me! Ta-da! Is... is that a hoverboard? From those TV commercials? That's so cool! Wait... Um... Pupo, where did you put that? You don't have any pop. Now that we have this, we can just fly it across the rivers! Hey, don't ignore me! Where did you get that anyways? Don't those cost like... 30,000 maca or something? It's uh... <laughs> better if you don't ask too many questions! Okay, you of all people shouldn't be telling me not to ask any questions. Okay, okay. Let's just say uh, that I thought I had before I met up with you, saw it in the store, and, um, buy with my allowance. Allowance? Since when do the people of Crest use actual money? Besides, I don't even know how to ride an extreme gear. Well, you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. Come on. Don't I have a say in this? What if I say no? Because the game can't continue you if you say no! <sighs> Fair. Fine. Guess.
guess it's time to learn how to surf. Right. 
right. the top. It's completely empty, though. Do you think the monster left? Hey there. Are you two the new victims? Perfect. Looks like it was a smart move to take that power nap. Wh where did that come from? Just stay right there. I'm almost down. <laughs> Scrawny, aren't you? And here I was thinking someone finally worthy of my time would show up. Hey, I'm a lot tougher than I look. I'm gonna take you down. Really? <laughs> I'll take your word for it, little man. Better not disappoint me. Uh, Hugo, I think he saw from my bluff. <sighs> it's too bad we don't have Choka around to blab about the weak spot. I'll say. Every monster has a weak spot. Let's do this!
Holy crap! I won! <laughs> Who's the strongest one now, jerk? <laughs> uh, easy there, champ. We need to make sure that this guy won't just come... See what I mean? He's reviving itself! No, no. I don't think that's it. Oh, oh my, my god! god. It's, it's a, a guy! guy. Are you all right? Uh, I've been better. Jeez. I have the worst headache right now. What the heck even happened? This whole time, that monster we were fighting was you? Monster? <sighs> Come on, I can barely last two rounds in a fight. I'm no monster. So, you have no idea how you got here or what just happened? No. Last thing I remember was going to bed last night. How did I end up here anyways? Let's all sit down over there. We need to catch you up on current events and it will give you some time to rest. Holy... So I became the strongest guy in all of Gazaland? At the cost of becoming a monster that terrorized the kingdom? Pretty much. The Emperor sent me on this quest to go and stop all the monsters in the surrounding kingdoms. So, I guess that's one down now. <laughs> I hope I didn't seriously hurt anyone. It's strange, too. Aside from the whole turning into a monster bit, this is almost exactly like the dream that I've been having. A dream? dream? But, didn't the Emperor ban all dreaming? I don't care. It's such a stupid rule. Besides, it's not like you can read minds or something. It was such a nice dream, too. I got so strong that everyone respected and adored me. I quickly rose to the top and became champion of the world. But now that I think about it, a red mist appeared suddenly in my dream. And then I woke up here. Red mist. Man, if that's what dreaming gets me, I guess the Emperor was just looking out for us by banning dreams. Besides, not like I'm gonna get stronger by sleeping all day. Hmm. But that's so weird. How does a red mist appearing in someone's dream turn them into that? Huh. By the way, who are you guys? What kingdom do you guys come from? I'm Klonoa, and this here is Hupo. We, uh, we're kind of just travelers that don't really have a home. I see. Well, you're always welcome back here in Gaza land. Anyone who messes with you guys will have to answer to me. Name's Chippo, by the way. One day I'm going to become the strongest fighter ever. It's been real, but I got to get back to training. Later, my dudes. Okay, can't be the only one that finds this all strange that the Emperor forbids dreaming. And then this guy turned into a monster because of his dream, right? No, I do too. But what kind of power is that? You think he's behind this? I don't think so. Maybe he's afraid of the monsters? His assistant says that he has a Samya. Maybe it's because he forces himself not to dream. We need more info. Let's head off to the next kingdom. Wait. Huh? Well, I am the champion now. I think we should go head back to the town and go kick those guys in the I Don't make me slap you! Let's go! Now! Okay, okay. Man, since when were you Mr. No Fun Allowed? Chris has those? Hell, no. But Nitopia is a vast place. Sometimes a visitor's dream gate produces amazing worlds to travel to. 
This one visitor a decade ago was a singer herself. And oh man, she had the most wonderful voice. Her songs, even now, always make everything feel like it will be okay. Is opera any good? The only songs I ever listened to were from my parents. And well, LaFice. But I guess they're fake memories too, huh, Yuko? Hi. No, it's okay. They're still my memories, fake or not. It's at least nice to have someone to remember, even if they're all phantom promises. Though, did you say a decade? I thought you were a kid like me. <laughs> Technically, I'm still physically a child, but by your standards, I'm well, uh, old. Wait, but just how old are you, Hupo? Me? About 40. What? Ugh. What a lunatic was that? That was Musica. Musica? She's a world famous soprano and the pride of this opera house. Um, you sure about that? Because I'm really worried if that was your best singer. No, it's true. She's just, um, uh, not quite feeling herself as of late. <laughs> uh. Uh, like that? Yes! Like that! Me thinks we have another monster on our hands. A monster? Oh, please, don't say that about the music. No, sorry, it's not like that. You see... Ah, so you believe that Musica has become a victim to this, uh, nightmare transformation? Wait, is that what we're calling it? Yep, pretty cool, right? Meh. Aww. Is there any way to change her back? Her songs were so simple, yet meaningful. Oh, what I would give to hear her voice once again. Well, if it's anything like last time, leave it to us. Grazie, Signor Klonoa, is it your Yupo? Please, I'll be counting on you. Come on, let's go.
Come on, let's go. Wahoo! Wahoo! Oh, 
right. All right. All right.
Let's go!
saw Monster's Chipples back. I spotted all your things back. Let us do it!
to normal? What are you two talking about? Oh, and why is my stomach killing me? Wow, she's really pretty. I'm in place, Vanilla! Shush! What's going on? How did I even get on stage? Can I sleep, won't you? Oh, man! It's just like last time with that triple guy! I'm down to the memory loss after transforming back! Um, Miss Musica, I can explain. Oh, dear. I couldn't have possibly done all this damage. I only ever wanted to show my love of music to everyone in the world. This is so horrible. They don't mention how much he loved your songs. He was heartbroken when you became a monster. Oh, Beryl. He's always in my dreams as well. Listening to my songs. That was your dream, right? Oh, of course. It's all I ever dream about every night. I know the Emperor Band all dream, but I can't really help myself. My dreams are always oh, so wonderful. wonderful. One dream in particular, I always had involved performing a new song I composed for him as a thanks for being my biggest fan. So, each time I try to remember the song, a mist suddenly appears around me and everything goes blank. Mist again? It didn't happen to be a red mist, right? Red? No, it was blue. A blue mist? Huh. Persons, I've been out of commission for far too long. I must get back to singing. I thank you two children from the bottom of my heart. As thanks, I will write a song specifically in honor of the brave hero who rescued me from my nightmares. Uh, oh, um... Thanks. <laughs> a full-on opera about us? That's so cool! Thank you, Miss Musica! And wait a minute out there! May we meet again, my darlings. Farewell. Red Miss. And now, Blue Miss. Go was breakfast? Yesterday morning. Oof. Well, the map says that we should be in Geobar right about now. Apparently, it's known as the land of food. I'm so hungry. I can eat after- Don't. Don't you dare. Hold on. What's that over there? Oh, hey! Speak and you shall receive! Talk about Lucky! A restaurant! Awesome! Let's go! Uh, wait. Did you bring any money? Who do you think I am? Of course I have money, silly! How do you think I bought that extreme gear? So, you do have an allowance? No, I just, uh, borrow it from other. <sighs> what? It's fine, okay? Come on! I'm starving! Oh no, customers. Hi there! Excuse me, waiter! We'd like to place an order! <sighs> I was afraid you'd say that! Sorry, uh, what did you say? <sighs> no, nothing. What can I get you two kids? I'll have a turkey! Oh, stuff inside of a turkey! And the whole fish we deep fried inside of a turkey! What the f, Cupo? I'm starving, okay? And where did you learn language like that? From you! Uh, whatever. I guess for me, I'll just have a cheeseburger, please. Oh, but hold the pickles. Ugh. Coming right up. Ah, 
<sighs> Here you go. Enjoy. Carrots? Raw carrots? This isn't food! It's lies! Yeah, what's up with this? I'm terribly sorry, but our lead chef, Sheeran, just suddenly disappeared a few days ago, and he's the only one who cooks in this town. On top of that, we've been having a food shortage. Wait a second. So, you're saying there's no food left besides... Ugh, carrots? Not even meat? Nope. W wait But what about candy? You must at least have sweets, right? I'm afraid not. Ah! No ice cream? No chocolate? No, I'm really sorry. Just ignore him. I think being hungry is doing unthinkable things to his mind and body. But, um, well, is there a reason this so-called land of food is, you know, out of food? Around the time Chef Chirin disappeared, a monster showed up from the mountains and started gobbling up everything in sight. Everyone's afraid that it'll start eating people next if it's not stopped. And you didn't find this the least bit suspicious that the chef disappeared at the same time the monster showed up? Hey, I just work here, man. I don't get paid enough for this. Another monster? Well, I guess that mom's our next destination. A monster with a huge appetite who eats everything and anything. Except carrots? And that's a move for sure. <laughs> Joking aside, looks like we found the source of the problem. Let's go, Hupo. Yeah, the faster we get this done, the sooner I can eat! I want my triple fed turkey, dammit! <laughs> and I thought I was the kid here. Come on, let's go! Wahoo! Wahoo! Right! 
Let's go.
Let's go! He should be around here somewhere. Holy crap! This dude just ate through solid rock! He's like a walking stomach! But look at his tongue! If it eats anything and everything, then I think I just found his weakness. I'm stuffed. Ew. Ew. Uh, Chef Churin, right? That's right, folks. Master Chef Churin at your service. Master Chef. Well, we were told you were good, but that's kind of a bold claim, don't you think? <laughs> it's a self-appointed title I've given myself, you see. Right now, I may be an ordinary cook, but one day, I'm gonna be the best chef in the whole gosh darn world. I'm guessing that's the dream you've been trying to strive for. Yep, yep. There's just one issue. Let me guess. Carrots? My mortal enemy. Lately, I've been trying to come up with a meal that can make even carrots taste good. It's harder than it sounds, though. <laughs> Every night, I go to bed dreaming about what this super recipe is and how I should go about making it. But it's the darndest thing. Every time I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, a yellow mist appears and I go completely blank. You know, maybe it's just a lapse in my memory or something, but I must have figured it out somewhere in my dreams. After all, I woke up here completely stuffed. Not about that. Sucker! You mean I was sleep eating the entire kingdom out of house and home? How terrible! And I was gonna present this new meal to the Emperor, too! He hates carrots most of all. So I figured if he had a great meal for a change, he'd change his mind and lift the ban on dreaming. Something screwy here. A red mist, blue mist, now a yellow mist? That's all the primary colors. But what does that even mean? I wish I knew. Uh, but can we please eat now? I'm about to collapse. You two are hungry? 
Why didn't you say so earlier? Come on, let's get back to town. As thanks for saving me, I'll make you guys my famous triple threat turkey on the house. <gasps> Hell yeah! What? Trying to sleep again, sire? <sighs> yes, but as usual, it's no use. Am I just cursed, Bagu? Why does my family bear the pain of not being able to dream? Every night, I close my eyes, and it's nothing but darkness. There, there, your majesty. Perhaps some breakfast may cheer you up. Yes, perhaps. Though I do hope there aren't any carrots this time. Ugh. But sire, carrots are good for your sight! Don't start with me, lest I throw you in the dungeon again! S sorry sire I truly do hope that Dream Traveler doesn't let me down. Oh, check this place out. What's up with this weather? I know, right? One moment it's freezing, and then the next it's too hot! You think this is the Kingdom of Time mentioned on the map? It's gotta be! Though, I hope the seasons being all screwy is just this place and we're not rapidly aging or something. <laughs> what do you think is causing the temperature to keep spiking up and down like this? Maybe... that thing over there? giant tree over there? It looks like it's going through some midlife crisis over what season it is! All of this is so strange. You think this is being caused by a monster too? It's gotta be! Besides, we've only got two of them left to defeat! It's starting to make me a bit sad, you know? So far, every monster we defeated just turns out to be someone who was manipulated through their dreams. If this is the world I come from, then how come I didn't transform too? Clonella, remember what Gaudia said to us back then? Dream travelers are beings that can't be corrupted by nightmares. Your kind is... special. Created for that purpose. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm some sort of experiment, right? Um, sorry Please, don't get mad. I'm only telling you why you can't be corrupted. I know, I know. Just hurts remembering that. I don't even have a real family. It's just me. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Let's head to a nearby town and see if anyone knows what's going on. Uh, oh, yeah! When the... This whole town looks like it was completely abandoned. I have a bad feeling about this. You there, sir. State your business quickly. Huh? A wise guy. We'll see who starts speaking after a poor seance is out of here. Oh, Look out! That... That was a wind bullet just now. Hey, whoever you are, show yourself. We're not here to fight. Wait up. Wapo? That's the ring they have there! You didn't tell me there were others! Others? Whoops! Sorry there, guy! Be right there! Oh. Hey! Don't stare at me like that, you weirdo! M me No, 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 I I'm not... Um, forgive him. I think he's just in shock. A growing young man and all that. <laughs> um, judging by your appearance... You're a dream traveler too, right? Two? <laughs> and there was more of them out there. See, Polly? You owe me 5,000 maka. In any case, what's good? My name's Kazanami, and Caddy Caddy over there is my ring spirit, Wapo. A 
pleasure to meet you two. I'm Hupo, and Goo Goo Eyes over here is my friend, Lanoa. Uh, hi. Um, you sure he's okay? He'll be fine. In any case, what are you two doing here? I didn't think there'd be other dream travelers venturing around. I should be asking you that. As sick as this is, perhaps catching up all Bunny Bunny like will be swell. Oh, um, okay. So, it's like this. Oh, hey. What a coinky thing. That's why we're here as well. Sorry for, uh, assuming you two were monsters. <laughs> Us? Monsters? Come on. I know Klonoa here can be a doofus at times, but... <laughs> hey! Well, apology accepted, I guess. But why exactly are you after the monsters as well? Ain't just the right thing to do? Save people? You really don't need any reason for that. So, you're just doing heroic stuff for the sake of justice then? Yep. This empire's been crawling up with strange stuff lately. So your girl here has been cleaning house with all these anomalies. Then again, I did accidentally end up attacking a few people based off the lack of context. <laughs> That's on me. <sighs> Miles always told me that I tend to jump to conclusions too soon. Shut up, Poey! I can hear you sassing me! That explains the sudden void you threw at us. That's so strange. But who only mentioned five monsters, though? Oh, yeah? That old last minister and his highness? Yeah, it's probably because I've been defeating them all before y'all got here. Seriously? That's amazing! Aw, shut up, for the praise! You're making me blush here! I guess this would explain how the Empire's had a monster problem for years, and it's only now that Jilly's decided to take action! Though, Kazanami. Did any of those monsters you defeated turn out to be... people? People? Gosh, I hope not. After a whooping I gave them, they just disappeared into darkness. I ain't seen any of them turn into a person afterwards. So there's regular monsters on top of these special ones we've been fighting? What the hell? Speak of the devil, that's my cue. It's been nice meeting ya, but duty calls. W wait a second, why don't we work together in stopping the monster? Sorry fellas, but this gal flies solo. Tell you what, let's race to see who defeat that monster first. If you win, I'll uh, um, give you a little something. But if I win, you guys owe me a hundred thousand maka, capiche? Wait a second, we don't have that kind of maka. Sorry, I, I can't, can't hear ya. ya. I'm already I'm halfway in there. there. Uh. What a piece of work! First she attacks us, and then she couldn't even bother to help us out? Ah, I'm so glad I didn't end up stuck with her. Would have driven me nuts. So, she was a dream traveler too? I mean, she kind of looked like me, but is she like my sister or something? If you want to look at it that way, I guess so. Dream Travelers were all based off the same template initially. Now their DNA is mixed in with genes of creatures from across the multiverse. Genes? Multiverse? Ah, uh, Hupo, can you just... explain it so I can understand? I'm getting a headache just hearing that. Basically, all Dream Travelers are mutated clones of the same guy. So I guess that would make her your sister. She really is my sister. <laughs> I actually have a family out there. I can't believe it. Well, the weird thing is, there's only supposed to be one dream traveler per world. So I wonder why she's here with you. We gotta catch up to her. I gotta let her know. Quinella, focus. We have a mission. If we run into her again, then okay. But we need to save this kingdom first. I know that, Hupo. But you don't understand. I just found out that I have a family. I can't let her just leave like that. I thought I was your family too, Clonella. Then why did you lie about me? Why didn't you tell me there was more out there like me? I did! I told you that you were a tree traveler. There just wasn't enough time. But we have time now, Clonella. So please, trust me. I can't. <gasps> We're going after Kazinami and helping her defeat that monster. 
If I can just talk to her, I know I'll get some answers. I want some real memories, Hippo. I'm tired of all of the lies. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Wahoo! Wahoo! Wahoo!
Come on, let's go! Wahoo! Yeah! Then I'll give you a fight. Holy! That thing is huge! Doesn't matter how big or scary it is, I'm not afraid of you. Come on!
What? What's happened to me? Yet another person appears after we defeat the monster. Who are you two kids? Oh, did you do this? Are you all right, sir? Sorry, we didn't mean to hurt you that badly. An apology seems hardly enough for attacking an innocent man. We didn't have a choice. You had turned into a monster and we had to stop you. A monster? Me? Pack! Nonsense! You kids have never seen a Lalakujian before? What now? They're... <clears throat> telling the truth. Hey, you shouldn't be standing. I'm... <clears throat> Fine. All the perp you need is right here. Before you turn back to normal, you messed me up quite badly. Plus, the neighboring towns. Take a look. Impossible. I... did all of that? Well then, attacking me was justified after all. What was I even doing? The last thing I remember was a dream I had when I fell asleep in a hospital. Then I woke up here in tatters. It's not your fault! Something must have taken control of you through your dreams! That can happen? Yeah, it's happened at the other free places we've been to before. Those kingdoms were being terrorized by a monster, who all turned out to be normal people having nightmares. What a horrible thing to do, especially with my dreams. They're all I have left to cling on to. What do you mean, if you don't mind me asking? Well, not to bore you with my life story, but I'm not actually from this town. My name is Goodmark. And I've traveled to this empire all the way from my home in the Lakusha. You see, my son, he's very sick. Well, sick is putting it mildly. He's barely six years old, but the doctors and priests all say he won't live to see another year. I became desperate. I had to find some place, someone, who could help save my son. But their research came short. Then one day, I researched about the Empire of Julius, and how there was a kingdom within its walls that experienced the four seasons simultaneously. I had to go. I had to take my son. I knew that, if his time was short, I could at least make his final days the best of his life. The world is such a beautiful, yet cruel place. I wanted him to see it for himself, for it was too late. So I traveled tirelessly to this place, so much so that I must have passed out when we were close. That's... I... I don't know what to say. I'm... so sorry. In my dreams, I imagined the time we'd spend here. The sparks in his eyes and the smile on his face. I just want to make my son happy. One last time. Yet, here I am, destroying the very place I sought for. The world is truly cruel. <laughs> what good are dreams but beautiful lies? I should have never dreamed at all. Don't say things like that. Canela? You made it here, didn't you? Despite all odds, your dreams of making your son happy brought you here. It may not be what you wanted, but you kept the promise you made it to yourself. Made it to your son, right? What happened was the fault of someone evil who takes advantage of people like us. Dreams aren't to be shut out. Look at all you accomplish when you believe in yourself. He, he's right! Dreams are only as real as you make them out to be. They're the building blocks that create desires and happiness. But that's all they are. Just building blocks. You need to strive for the dreams that you have and work towards it if you want them to come true. I... I suppose you're right. But what do I do now? What do I tell my son? Tell him the truth. Tell him how hard you try and how much you love him. You said your time with him is limited, yeah? Then what are you waiting for? Go spend time with your son! 
You only got one dad. So go be the best damn dad ever! <laughs> Thank you, children. Thank you for opening my eyes. What are your names? I would like to know the names of the heroes that saved me. So I could tell the story to my son of how his foolish father was rescued by these brave souls. I'm Klonoa. And I'm Hupo! Name's Kazuname. And this gal here is Wapo. She don't talk much, but she's a keeper, that's for sure. We promise, we'll find the guy who's been messing around with everyone's dreams. But, um, one last thing. Do you remember anything strange in your dream? Like a color mist or something? Mist? No, nothing like that. Although I do remember seeing a silhouette of a giant castle floating upside down in the sky. A castle floating upside down? Uh-oh. Yeah, I feel like I was onto something. But that one's just weird. Uh, we're back to square one now. So much for that lead. Well, we got this. Thanks for the help, Mr. Goodman. Yeah, take care, okay? I will. I will. Hold on to my dreams. And believe in the heroes that defeated my nightmares. Farewell, children. Heroes again, huh? <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. You fellas earned the title. It's alright to brag a little. <laughs> Right, um, K Kazuname. Sup? Well, since we're both dream travelers, I think that makes you my... You're his sister! What? what? No fooling? Yupo? I'm not sure how much you know about dream travelers, but you guys are all copied from the same person. So that makes Konoa here your brother. For real? Oh, shucks! I just knew there was something about you I liked! Truth is... Mom's not actually my mother. She raised me like her own when I was found on the streets a long ass time ago. I love her, don't get me wrong, but this is the first time meeting an actual family member. Yeah, me too. It's, um, nice to properly meet you this time, sis. Aw, look at ya. All embarrassed. But I guess that's spinning for any bro of mine. By the way, I meant to ask this before, but Wapo there, is she an actual ring spirit? What do you mean, actual ring spirit? Ain't Hoopo there one too? It's complicated. I, well, Hoey came out of my ring when I was little. I thought it was some toy before that, but when she came out of there, it just started lining up. Bowie and I have been besties ever since, right Bowie? <laughs> Bowie! Language! There are children here! Well now, speaking of which, I did lose that race, so it looks like I owe ya. Lost? But you got here first. Yeah, but you two still beat that monster before I did, so you guys won. Congrats! Cool! Um, what do we win? Think fast! W whoa Take things. It's a lucky charm to commemorate our friendship. Ma once told me that this thing can cut through the lies presented in nightmares and separate fiction from reality. Dreams are a powerful thing, but you must never lose sight of what's real and what's not. Uh, what's that mean? I don't know. I just figured it was a thought that counts. Well, hey, you want to come along with us? We still got one more monster to defeat. Thanks, but I'll pass. Huh? Why? I told you this girl flies solo. Besides, I gotta help these people clean up the damages. You get me? Yeah, good point. <sighs> I was hoping that we'd have two dream travelers now, but I'll respect your decision. Will I ever see you again? We're dream travelers, ain't we? It's bound to happen eventually. Besides, you and I are siblings, right? I know we just met, but we got that Camilla Bond or something like that. <laughs> I. Guess you're right. Well, it's my time to make my quota. So long, little bro. Y yeah. Goodbye, big sis. Oh, no, I. 
No, it's okay. I'm sorry about before, Hippo. I shouldn't have said those things to you. Don't be. You have every right to be mad. Or not trust me. I get it. You know, I probably have a myriad of siblings myself. And I never met any of them. Mother personally raised me. So I kind of grew up alone. You're the closest thing I have to a brother. I know. That's why it hurts so much when you left. I still don't want you to go. So that's why I'm with you for good this time. No matter what. You're my brother too, Hippo. Let's never be apart again. <laughs>